Welcome back today. This is Chuck Broquet from Salt in the Valley. We're discussing repentance from Ether 5.5 and drawing from the miracle of forgiveness. Today, Mormon scholar Stephen Robinson, apologist and faculty from BYU, says, We generally say keeping the commandments, when what we really mean is trying real hard to keep the commandments and succeeding most of the time. In Believing Christ, A Parable of the Bicycle and Other Good News, pages 42 to 45. So is Robinson okay trying real hard? The miracle of forgiveness rule on this reads, This progress toward eternal life is a matter of achieving perfection, living all the commandments, guarantees total forgiveness of sins, and assures one of exaltation through that perfection which comes by complying with the formula the Lord gave us. In his sermon on the mount, he made the command to all men, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect, Matthew 5.48. Being perfect means to triumph over sin. This is a man made from the Lord. He is just and wise and kind. He would never require anything from his children, which was not for the benefit and which was not attainable. Perfection, therefore, is an achievable goal. Pages 208 and 209. This is clear that no excuses are possible. We ask Robinson, is succeeding most of the time good enough for you? Don't you believe perfection is attainable to succeed all of the time, to live all of the commandments? Never then would you gain forgiveness, if not. So the LDS rule is to be perfect, triumph over sins. It is not trying hard. Kimball Bellows, you're out. I do feel sorry for Stephen Robinson. Anyone facing outer darkness to miss exaltation. But let's not give up. Where is hope? The purpose is to provide answers for the tough questions facing the precious LDS souls, hoping to succeed most of the time. Well, then who can bring them home and how? Well, the verse from the rule book is, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect, Matthew 5:48. Suppose watching the news, the kids are noisy, so you say, Be quiet. Do you mean be quiet tomorrow or to be quiet now? Jesus said, Be ye therefore perfect. That is not to be working on it, or as I hope to be perfect someday. This is in the present imperative. Be, do it now. As the LDS footnotes in their Bible say, be perfect now. We long to be forgiven, and God says, their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Hebrews 10, 17. But why? Verse 14 explains that it already has happened for some in the past tense. For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. It's true. I am perfected now. It's a position term before God, not about a sinless life. This is only through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all, Hebrews 10.10. 10. So which will it be for you, dear friend, trying hard like Mr. Robinson, that plan being rejected? or to be perfected through the perfect Son of God, who died as our substitute on the cross. Only one way will give you eternal life.